Hello. 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 Yellow. And hello. What's going on everybody? It's your man Dr. Ropodnik and we are back again with another video. It's been about uh, two or three weeks. And uh, if you guys are wondering what the hell these are, these would be the result of those three lovely ladies by the name of Gary Payton that I've been growing over the last few months. Yeah, we harvested her, I want to say about a week ago, a little over a week ago. Um, uh, Maybe two weeks ago, yeah, somewhere around there. I get fucking lost. There's a lot going on. But um, I let her hang dry for maybe about five to six days. Well, five to seven days. Um, And then I got her all trimmed up nice, and then we are at the burping stage now. And yes... Please don't come in my comments telling me about how long I hang. Many people hang at different times. And no, I'm not in a bad mood because I state this. Just simply putting this in here because I know how other people are at times. People are always, oh, this is the right way. This is the right way. This is the right way. Yes, it is the right way for you. But moving on. All right. This is Gary number one. Not looking too shabby. Smell is so so, but she's got some more drying to do. She's not ready to be blazed yet. I say another week or so. Just to give you guys a little idea of what I'm working with. Yeah, and this is Gary Payton number one. This is was for the ones who watched my videos. It was the little small one that was always in the right. Smallest out the three. I'm hoping the smell does definitely get stronger as the cure gets better. But for all we know, this could be the heavy hitter. But right now, the smell just isn't quite there. But. Let's go with the fun part and see what we got in weight. I weighed them already, but I think it's more fun to weigh it up with you guys so you guys can see for yourself and you know I ain't no bullshitter. So right now we are doing Gary number one. Uh-huh. Alright, 62.8 grams for the GP1. Yeah. Alright, let's get her. <laughs> Pour it like milk, right? Almost got it all in there. Alright, cool. So next up. We got the Gary 2. Let me make sure it's the right one. Yep. Let's take a looker there. Wee, 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 wee. Frosty. With a very nice nose on it. Much stronger nose than the Gary 1 for sure. And for those who are watching, this was a part of the... Uh, this was the one that was all the way to the left. The big one, and it had that kinked branch that I had to bend over because it was getting too tall. Yeah, this is her. Yeah. She's pretty nice. Now, let's see what we got in the weight of the Gary number two. Gotta turn the scale back on, of course. I have two jars of that, so I gotta crack another jar. This is the driest one out the three so far, too. So this one I will definitely probably be trying first. 
Mind you, add another jar. Let's just go ahead and dump this one. Ooh -ee. What we got? 72. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. This is what we call a nug porn. Something like that. This has been my, uh, probably my favorite harvest yet. What are you guys growing right now? Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys are growing. I need some new ideas. I got a couple more Garys, but those uh, don't look too good. I got them in St. Leaks. Now, where they're supposed to be going in the vest. They're like three weeks old. And, um, yeah, they're not looking too good. So, I'm probably going to have to kill them off. And I have more Gary, but I'm thinking about doing something else. Give me some ideas, people. What do you think? Leave some comments. All right. And then last, we have Gary number three, which was the middle one, which was actually my favorite one based off look and smell. I was a little biased towards it. It meant a lot to me. That motherfucker right there has the best nose out of the three. And to me, the best appeal. Let's get it all poured. This jar is, I think, the bigger nugs. I got some big mamas in here. These two here. This one, I believe, was the biggest nug out of all three. Oh, yes. Gary, Gary, Gary. All right. Let's wait. This is also a two jar one. Sorry if I get a little quiet. I get mesmerized when I start looking at these nuggets. I get caught up in thought. So, just that jar alone of that one, we're at 37. And then there's another jar. I try to keep the bigger nugs in one jar of this and then all the smaller ones in a separate jar. Bam! All right, 73.5. So we got 68, 73.5, and 72. So what we got there? Damn near about seven ounces or so i'm too lazy to do the actual math but for those who can do it we got 68.2 75.3 and 72 something or other so needless to say this has been the biggest harvest yet i've had of my own i'm very pleased and it's the first time i've ever had this much of one strain one cultivar i guess you should say and I love Gary Payton, which is the reason why I decided to grow it in the first place. Because it was something that I've had from the cookie store. Something that I've had a lot in the black market. And regardless of where I have it from, I'm always a huge fan of it. So, this makes me very happy. So, it's your man, Dr. Ropotnik. I'm going to cut this short because I've got wrestling to watch. And weed to smoke. And i got to go chill with the family. Go kick it before my girl kills me. But uh, yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys. It's been a while and uh, wanted to show you what was going on, man. The beautiful update. I'll probably be back in another week or so just to show you guys uh, how this stuff smokes. Gary number two is pretty much already uh, burnable, but I still want to wait. But Gary three and one, especially number one, needs more time. So like I said, I'll probably be back in about a week or so with an update. And let you guys know how it burns. Until then, stay humble, stay high, stay kind. Peace.